I don't know if you guys remember that scam video I made a few weeks ago, months ago, whatever it was, on the treasure trail scam where people are using the items that you get from the treasure trail rewards and trying to sell them at inflated prices. Well, a guy actually sent me an email by the name of William, and I'm going to leave his last name out of this for obvious reasons, but he said that he accidentally scammed someone, which I don't know about that, William. I don't know if you accidentally scammed someone, but okay, I'll go with that with this trick because he got scammed with it himself so he said that he wanted to see if it actually worked so he used about four million items or used about four mil cash and spent that all on these items and then got about 70 mil worth or something like that and then he actually traded some guy and he apparently got this 70 mil and i'm not really sure about the credibility of this story but nonetheless it is still a good point to uh prove so I wanted to see how much I could actually get out of all of this money and see how much it would actually be worth. As you can see, I started with 500k and I wanted to see how many items I could actually get for 500k to look like a bigger amount of money. So this is what I did. I went on a Reddit thread that I saw and used those prices. The guy who made the Reddit thread goes by the name of Slaving and he had a complete spreadsheet on uh, Google Docs or whatever it is, Google Sheets that he made to show all of the items that are currently being used to scam and by how much they are actually being used to scam. So as you can see here, this is the list. And you can see some of these prices are ridiculous in the actual price difference uh, between the items and the price itself. So even though the exchange value says on some of these that they are a certain amount, the whole list obviously just shows that they are not that same amount. So I just tried to find all of these items and it took me maybe three or four minutes to actually do this to find these items that were you know being used to scam so aside from that list it probably would not have been that hard regardless because I could have just actually searched on the 2007 Wikipedia page or the 2007 wiki page all of the new items that came out and then I could have just checked myself either that or I could have gone on the actual Grand Exchange um, on the old school site so as you can see I spent 500k on all of this and it got me about 8.2 mil total guide price but it was only 500k spent on this so if I spent something like 4 mil I would have gotten so much more I didn't even try to find that many items I mean the item that I bought or all of these items I even bought them at an inflated price so I just want to show you the actual way that people are using to scam them now the way that William said that people were using this to scam is they were just saying comparing banks and sometimes people like to just sit there and accept the trade if they see that you have more than them just kind of like as a, a, an old runescape thing because I've done that before in the past when I was a noob and I've just traded people and tried to get them to accept when they have like 500 mil and I only have like 4 mil or something like that but the actual excuse itself isn't really relevant in this situation because I was just using the excuse in this fake instance have a bigger bank than me, prove it and win mine. Because it's kind of like a, a common line that people use to scam. Oh, you can win free money. It's just kind of like a common thing that people do. Now, obviously, I didn't actually scam anyone. This is just me on a different account accepting and everything. I'm just showing you an instance in which it would actually work because the other person trading me, which is obviously me in this instance, just traded me about 3.2 mils worth and I just traded him maybe 500k or less or whatever it might be that you know I actually used to get it. I know what you might be thinking too that this seems like something that's too obvious but a lot of people get scammed by this crap every single day. All I'm really trying to do is just kind of spread awareness to the idea of these scams actually happening so this was me trying to sell back the items just so you guys have a general sense of what these people would be left with so they just got scammed of their 3.3 mil they try to go sell these items they think they got rich and look I can't even sell this for 50k it supposedly goes for 5 mil but I couldn't even sell it for 50k and with the rest of the items I just tried to sell them all for 10k and see if they would instant sell and see how much I would actually get for each item itself so when I went to actually go collect it, I got about 120k for that when I spent, I spent a lot more on it. I did spend more on it, but I, I lost money, which kind of sucks. So look, I went to go sell this for one coin. It sold for one coin. Literally, the item I spent 200k on sold for one coin. Now, obviously, if I waited longer, I might have gotten someone who wanted to buy it for a lot higher of a price. But it just goes to show, nobody actually actively trades these items, so... In effect, these items are really easy to use to scam. 
The scam might seem kind of stupid, and it kind of is stupid, but the more people know of these scams, the less likely it is to happen. From Jagex's side, they could do a lot of different things to make sure that these scams don't happen in the future, but I would say the easiest way to do this is either just set it to 1GP to begin with, so the trade value is 1GP and then it goes up over time as it's actively traded, or just kind of go in and set each item to the actively traded you know, price because I don't, I don't think these prices are or rather, I don't think these items are that actively traded, but I would just go in there and set a different value aside from 5 mil because if they're actively traded or inactively traded at around uh, what, 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, whatever they are, then set the price to that. But if they're actively traded to about 10k, then I would just set the price to that. So uh, just be careful of this scam. And uh, I also did not try to buy those Cyclops heads, they're a waste of money. Alright, see you next time. Bye.